over here. I've got two screens in front of me. I've got my phone doing the music. So it's a crazy situation. <laughs> All right, we got one minute. I'm trying to find your laptop. Oh, wait. So you can use like two lighter dumbbells if you have them and one slightly heavier. If not, don't worry about it. We'll get we'll get, you know, two together or modify if needed. And we are gonna get down on the floor if possible. So you do get my weight. <laughs> Go for it. If not, I'll modify for you. Okay. Um wait a minute. <laughs> All right, I'm going to mute everybody now, but if you do have a question, you can certainly like wave your hands or unmute yourself um, and let me know, because if you have a question, probably somebody else does as well. Oh. I'm trying to find my weight. My, hus my husband thinks they're in the garage. Okay. All right, you're on my laptop now. I can see you really good. Hi, Dad. You want to sit in the window? Come on. There you go. There. I can meet myself. All right, thank you. I'm clicking on the button, but it's just not taking. Well, let me figure out how I mute me, too. Uh, we have, did we mute ourselves? All right, I got it. Am I muted? Did okay. I mute? There we go. All right. Should be good. All right, so we're just going to get started with our warm up. So we're going to do our head turns first, side and side. Good. Tilt. Nope, oh, lost my earpiece. <laughs> Good. Shoulder rolls. Big rolls up around and back here. Add in a march. Good, stop the shoulder rolls, get a little quicker with your march. Pump those arms, a little quicker. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Good. One arm back. Big circle. You can lean away. Get that full range of motion. Palm open. Reach all the way around. One more. Good. Other side. Lean away. Reach all the way around. Open up that palm. Big circle back. One more. Good. Grab your hands together. Rock. Back and forth here. Loosen up that mid back. You can be slightly rounded here, kind of stretch those shoulder blades out a little bit. That's okay. I know I'm tight from sitting in front of those webinars. Good. 
Good. We're going to bend here at the hips. Reach up, pull down. Reach up, pull down. We're making a W. Good. Those W's look great. Good. All the way up and pull, squeeze. Good. One more. Good. Put your weight forward. Step back. One foot back and the other foot back. As quick or as slow as you need to go, but if you can go quicker, pick up the pace a little bit. Good. Grab your hands together. Come down at that corner. Come up at the opposite angle. Down and up. Sit your hips back a little bit as you come down. And come up. Good. One corner to the opposite. One more. Good. Now the other side. Down here at this corner. Up here. Great. Good. Keep going. Stretch and reach. And one more. Good. Let's get those butt kickers kicked back. Lower as quick as you need in this one, but if you can, pick up the pace a little bit. I see Carol adding in the arms. I love that old school classic. <laughs> Looks great. Good. Let's get five squats here. If you can't do a squat, sit and stand is great as well. Down and up. Down. Sit those hips back like you're sitting in a chair. Here's three. Four. And five. Great. Excellent work. All right. So I'm going to demo the exercises here for you and give you a couple modifications if needed. The first one is what I call air traffic controller arm raises. So we're going in two different directions here. You're using your light to medium dumbbells. You're going forward and out to the side at the same time. Diane's super familiar with this one because it's also a cheerleader motion. <laughs> so uh, thumbs are up, palms are open, out this way, and then out this way. If that's too much of a challenge for you, you can certainly go forward and then out to the side. If you have any shoulder issues whatsoever, just keep it slightly below shoulder height. Okay? Really focus on pulling your shoulder blades back, opening up that chest through that motion, okay? That's our first one. Ooh, lost my earpiece again. The next one, you can take your two weights together or if you have a slightly heavier weight, you can use that one. You're gonna grab them. You're gonna go down for that wood chop that we did. You're going to come down at the corner and up. Down at the corner and up. Pull your tummy muscles up and in. Do not arch at your back with this one. Make sure you've really got it. And you can give it a little bit more of a squat to make it more of a challenge. If you want even more of a challenge, you can come down into like a half kneel position here and do it that way. 
That's going to be even more of a challenge for you if you're looking for that. Okay? Next one, we're going to get down onto our hands and knees, and we're going to do a row. So you're going to be in that all fours position with your one weight. If you have a slightly heavier one, now's the time to use it. Pull that elbow up. Pull that elbow up. Pull that elbow up. When we do these exercises that are one-sided, we're going to do that full round with that one side and alternate each round, okay? If that is too much for you, you can always do on a chair or a bench. You can hold on to the back of the chair or the seat of the chair and pull for that row. So the back of the chair would be higher would be your easiest option. The seat of the chair would be the next. Pull there. And then down on the floor if you can for that quadruped would be the hardest option. The next one we're gonna do is a bridge with a chest press. So you're gonna take that one weight. You're going to raise those hips up. Bring one arm up in a fist and press to meet it. Press to meet it. Press to meet it. If that's not good for you, you can certainly do that standing or seated in the chair. One arm out, press. 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 Same thing is okay. Okay? Last one here is our skull pressure or our summer arms. We've got both hands with the weights. The elbows stay up. The hands drop down and press. It's a big press, nice and controlled. Your arm stays still, but the upper part of the arm presses up, okay? If you want to do that standing and you don't want to get down, you can take that back of the chair again, pull that elbow back, extend, and bring it in. Extend, and bring it in, okay? So you've got a few options there if any of those don't feel good for you getting down on the floor, okay? We are gonna do our exercises for 40 seconds. We'll have 20 seconds between them. We'll go around for four rounds. So every other round, if you're doing one arm, you're switching. I'll, I'll guide you through and then we'll finish it up. All right. Ready? We're gonna get started with those arm raises. Go ahead. Up. Good. Nice and controlled as you lower it down. And relax those shoulders. Palms are open, thumbs are up. Yep, Diane, flip your palm to our uh, thumb up on your forward. Yeah, there you go. Yep. <laughs> and relax. Good. We're going into our wood chop next. So you can take both, both together or a slightly heavier weight if you have it. We got 10 seconds before we go. We're going to stay on one side the whole time. We'll switch next round. And go ahead, down and up. Give it a good breath out on that up. Nice and controlled, not too much twisting of your back. Move my earpiece again. Ten more seconds, you got it. Three, two, one. And relax. Good. Next one is getting down for that quadruped row or leaning on the back of the chair for a row. Scoot back here. You got a good ten seconds of rest or get yourself in a position. And go ahead, pull for that row. 
Elbow up. Back is straight. Squeeze that shoulder blade into your body. Same thing, if you're bent over on the chair, keep that back straight. 10 more seconds. And relax. Good. We're going into those summer arms. Those arms overhead, that lighter set of dumbbells. Lying on your back. If you can, if not, you're bent in the chair for that press back, that kick back. Arms are up, go ahead, drop them down and press. And press. Slow and controlled to bring it down. Big press up. Big breath out as you press those arms up. 15 more seconds, you got it. I see those arms popping up, looks great. And relax. You're going to make your way back to standing. Round one is done. <laughs> you guys are doing great. And three, two, one. We're going back to our arm raises. Good. Yep. Nice and controlled as you lower them down. Looks good. Try to keep your body facing forward the whole time. There we go, just your arms. Yep, you got it, looks good. 10 more seconds. <laughs> Starting to burn. <laughs> no, I shake. And relax. <laughs> Good. We're going into our wood chop. This time we go the opposite diagonal. Three seconds. Here we go. Down and up. Big breath out on the up. Use your diaphragm to your advantage. Squeeze those hips as you come up. Pull those tummy muscles in. This is a full body exercise. Five more seconds. You got it, good. We're going down to that row. You're either here at the chair or you're on hands and knees. If you can, we're doing that other side. I started with right, so I'm going to left this time. Here we go, row it back. Pull that elbow up, keep your back straight. I see a fluffy dog. <laughs> Breathe out as you press up, pull back, good, 15 more seconds, you got it. Good. We're going to lie on our back with that bridge and press. So our hips go up, arms are up. You can keep one up. Don't go into it yet. We got five more seconds of rest. And one press. 
One press. One arm presses during this one. Big press. Hips are up if you can. If not, you're seated in the chair, pressing out or standing, pressing out. No worries. Five more seconds, you got it, looks good. Three, two, one, rest. Relax, slowly make your way up to standing as you can. We're going back to those air traffic arm raises. Take a couple deep breaths. And we're back, arms up. Arms up, nice and controlled, good, looks good. We're landing all those planes that are not landing right now. Mine are. <laughs> Jesus, God. 10 more seconds, you got it, this is a hard one. Pull those shoulder blades back and relax. Good. We're going back into our wood chop. Water. Original side here. A little bit wide of a stance here. And go ahead. Down and up. Pull those tummy muscles in. Looks good. Keep those arms straight. Five more seconds. You got it. Two, one, rest. And relax. We're going into that row. If you're on the back of the chair here, or if you're down on the floor in that quadruped position, all fours. Too fast, you can see me. Either way, you want your back nice and straight. Pull that elbow up to the sky. Breathe out. Make sure you don't turn your body. Keep your head looking, kind of diagonal the floor ahead of you. Ten more seconds. And relax. We're going on to our back for that bridge and chest press or seated chest press, whichever works for you. Hips go up. Both arms are up. One arm presses. The other one stays up. Big breath out as you press. Good, I see those arms popping up, looks good. Big press, slowly down, good. You can certainly do this without the bridge if you just need to do it with the arm part, that's fine. Five more seconds, you got it. Good, relax. You've got your tricep press, either standing or the summer arms here that I like to call them there. Don't start yet. You got a good seven seconds of rest. We want to take it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Arms are up. Here we go. Press. 
Press. Press. If you have a heavier weight, you can certainly grab onto both ends and do it with just the one weight. With your hands on either side, but nice and controlled here. Good. And relax. Gonna make our way up again. Back to those arm raises. We're doing good, doing good. Here we go. Thumbs up. Good. Arm straight. Keep that body still. Good. <laughs> Fifteen more seconds. You got it. We're almost there. Press. 
Good. This is working those bat wings or bingo wings or whatever you want to call those flabby arms. <laughs> We're getting rid of them. Ten more seconds. You got it. Big press. Good, we made it. Woo! All right, Take, get a drink of water. We've got a little finisher here. You know I couldn't end it there. Get a drink of water. Roll those shoulders back if you need a little break with those shoulders. We're going to work them again in a minute. If you have a wall or a chair or a bench or an ottoman for the next part, that would be good. What we're going to do next is 10 push ups. We're going to do them the tricep push up way. So I want you to keep your hands like a diamond close to each other. They're either going to go on the wall and you'll step back, keep those elbows tucked in and big press away. Or they can go on a chair or a bench, diamond shape with your hands, elbows tucked by your side. And we're doing 10. You can also go down onto the floor and on your knees, diamond shape. Keep those hips low though, okay? Ready? We're going to do 10. Here we go. I got 10. We're going to finish it up with a few ab exercises here. If you can, get onto your back. We'll get onto your back. If you cannot, seated in the chair, pull those tummy muscles up and in. We're going to do a march first. Then I'm going to have you do a small twist. Pull those tummy muscles up and in. We'll do a small twist. And the last one, you'll do a twist this way if you want to be in a chair. If not, you're going down onto the ground and we're going to start with our reverse crunches. So those knees are up, feet are up, pull those tummy muscles in that brings your knees to your chest. We're going to do 30. Ready? Here we go. Keep breathing. Should be about halfway there. Good. If you get to 30, take a breather. I see those feet going in the air. <laughs> nice. Take a breather. Next one we're going to do is 20 ankle grabbers. Pull those tummy muscles in. Bring your hands down by your ankles. You're going to reach past each ankle. Okay? Each ankle is one. Here we go. 20. Good. 
Good. Take a breather. Last one here is our dead bug. Knees come up. Press into those knees. We're going to open one arm and leg and come back together. We're going to do 10. <laughs> Good. Very nice. If you can stay on the ground, stay on the ground. We're going to do a couple stretches. If not, you can certainly do them in your chair. You're going to lie on your back. Bring one knee into your chest, hold it behind your thigh. Take two deep breaths in there, two big deep breaths. Switch it to the other side, grab hold behind that thigh. Take two deep breaths. Grab hold of both if you can. Rock a little circle. Good. Make your way to sitting. Be on the floor, in a chair, wherever you need to. We're going to do that old school Fonda reach all the way out to the opposite corner of the wall. Reach those fingertips. Reach all the way through the side of your body. Take a deep breath out. And the other side. Reach, 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 reach up to that corner. Deep breath out. Good. Bring one arm across your chest. Keep it low. Relax that shoulder. Tug it in there. Good. Looks good. Three deep breaths there. Good. Other side. Reach across. Relax that shoulder. Three deep breaths. Grab your hands together, big arch, breath out, up nice and tall, big round, breath out, up nice and tall, one more. Good job, guys. Great workout. Awesome. High fives all around. Excellent job, guys. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. Welcome. Good to see Thanks. you all. Thanks. I'll announce the pop up workout for next week, okay? Yeah. Good. All right. See you guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you.